It looks like Meghan Markle's dream of becoming Hollywood's next Martha Stewart is crumbling faster than a stale cookie. Netflix, the streaming giant that once rolled out the red carpet for Meghan and her prince, seems to have had enough of the Sussexes' endless attempts to stay relevant. Rumour has it that Netflix is no longer interested in airing Meghan's much-touted cooking show, a project that was supposed to showcase her as the ultimate domestic diva. But really, who thought anyone would be lining up to watch Meghan pretend to be a down-to-earth homemaker? When Meghan and Harry inked their deal with Netflix in 2020, it was hailed as a match made in heaven. The couple, fresh off the royal exit, were set to take Hollywood by storm with a slew of documentaries, children's programming and scripted series. But as the years have dragged on, it seems that Netflix is starting to realise that the Sussexes may not be the golden geese they were hoping for. Meghan's cooking show in particular appears to be the latest casualty in what's become a series of flops. According to insiders, the show didn't even make it onto Netflix's internal list of upcoming releases for the next five months. And honestly, can you blame them? Who in their right mind would want to watch Meghan, who once called Princess Catherine a Stepford wife, now trying to pass herself off as some kind of homey housewife? The hypocrisy is almost too much to stomach. But Meghan isn't giving up without a fight. Word on the street is that she's been desperately trying to get the show picked up by other platforms. She's even tried to peddle it to Paramount, which only underscores how badly she wants this to happen. However, it seems like Hollywood's big players are all but blocking her. Rumour has it that Netflix CEO Ted Sarandos, who was initially enthusiastic about the Sussexes, is now dodging Meghan's attempts to get his attention. The industry buzz is that Sarandos has become the butt of jokes for entertaining the idea of a cooking show from Meghan in the first place. Critics have started labelling the couple as grifters, arguing that the content they've delivered so far hasn't come close to justifying the massive payout they received. And it's hard to argue with that when you consider their track record, a few lacklustre projects and one overhyped docuseries that only gained traction because of the royal gossip. So, what's next for Meghan and Harry at Netflix? Insiders suggest that the streaming giant won't kick them to the curb outright. Instead, Netflix might quietly let the relationship fizzle out, avoiding the embarrassment of a public breakup. When their original contract expires, it's likely that Netflix won't renew it on the same lavish terms. Instead, the Sussexes might be offered smaller, one-off deals if they're lucky, and that will be judged on their own merits. This approach allows both sides to save face. Netflix can sidestep, admitting that the deal was a colossal misstep, while Meghan and Harry can continue to chase their Hollywood dreams without the pressure of a massive contract hanging over their heads. But make no mistake, the days of the Sussexes commanding mega deals and high stakes investments are over. Perhaps Meghan should have stuck to grilling burgers, at least that doesn't require a major streaming deal. As it stands, it looks like a cooking show dreams are destined for the same fate as her royal aspirations, up in smoke.